I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here is your NBC3 forecast. Any patchy fog in those fog prone areas like Cortland and Verona Beach will burn off. Most of us should have a good chunk of sunshine this morning, but there will be changeable skies coming up ahead, which means by midday and afternoon we will thicken up some clouds and there will be an opportunity for some passing isolated to scattered showers and thunder showers, which you'll see on the future cast coming up. Well, today's high will be a little bit less than where we were yesterday when we hit 83, although 79 is very close to the normal high of 81. And then tonight, in and out of clouds, a passing shower with thunder showers still possible and a low of 62. So to take a look ahead to what to expect, we do have changeable skies. We just talked about that today and into tonight and even tomorrow as well. Temperatures are going to get a little cooler. Now, I wouldn't call it cold. I, a good, good description is more like refreshing rewind. I'm expecting highs in the mid to upper 70s, which is a little bit below normal. Mid 70s solidly, I think. And that's at least for Syracuse. Obviously, there'll be some cooler spots. I don't think we're going to hit 80 after today, probably for the next few days. And we'll have to watch a new weather system. It's the same one we talked about yesterday. It is still looking likely, at least for the immediate central New York area, that it will be a near miss to the south Thursday night and Friday and probably missing us to the southeast and east on Saturday. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, even though it is a miss and I could just not even talk about it and just say partly sunny, what happens since the system hasn't even developed yet? If it's a lot closer, then we'd have to talk about rain. Right now, I don't think that's going to happen, but I want to keep it in your mind just in case that thing gets closer. Anyway, we've talked about the sun this morning, and then during the midday and afternoon, we should get into the upper 70s. Note that at noon, there is an opportunity of an isolated shower thunderstorm in a couple of spots. Then during the afternoon, there will be an increasing risk for passing scattered showers or a thunder shower. Again, not completely ruining every single minute or hour of the afternoon, but it's just to show you that in cross parts of central New York, especially central and southern New York, there is that increased opportunity for a passing shower thunderstorm or two. And you see that threat even extending into this evening, right? You still see a couple of showers around. Then overnight tonight, I cannot rule out a passing shower thunderstorm. And then by sunrise tomorrow, note this. You see this? That's actually lake effect. Some lake effect showers and thunder showers will be possible east and southeast of the lake late tonight through tomorrow morning. Any lake effect showers then should break up by noon. Anything that happens in the afternoon tomorrow after clouds and sun will probably be in the hill towns south of Syracuse, south of Route 20, and across the far north country in Adirondacks. Tomorrow's high around 74 degrees. Wednesday night to Thursday morning, once again, I cannot completely rule out a lake effect shower, especially north of Route 31 Thursday morning, and then it's clouds and sun. And overall, Thursday's looking pretty good. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. Boating forecast, winds are from the southwest early, and then west and northwest at 10 to 20 knots, waves 1 to 2 feet. Boating forecast for Oneida Lake, a southwest wind at 5, then northwesterly or westerly winds at 10 to 15 knots, and that same kind of action happening over the Finger Lakes as well. Total sunshine, about 40 to 50% today. 30% on Wednesday and 50% on Thursday. The precipitation probability, this is not the amount of the day that gets washed out. This is the risk that your spot gets a shower or thunderstorm at some point during the afternoon. Note the temperature is below normal. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Anytime, anywhere, you can get your forecast. And you'll want to look at the interactive Doppler radar on CNYcentral.com.